Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. That video opener that you just saw, wow, that was created in After Effects. Nope. It was created in Camtasia 2022. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built it. A couple of tips and tricks you're going to need to build one yourself. If you're too busy, you're having one of those weeks and you want to buy the template, I'll sell it to you. Easy peasy. Let's jump in. We'll take a look. Okay guys, so here we are in Camtasia and I'm just gonna scrub through the timeline for you here. Let me shrink it down a little bit. So what you're looking at is everything that you can see here on screen right up to about the first 30 seconds, that's the opener. So I have two openers, one that's 30 seconds, another one that's a little bit shorter. And so what I'm gonna do is walk you through how I built this step by step. And so let me expand this out a little bit. So if we start at the very beginning here, what I've done is I've taken the audio clip that I've that I've used. On top of that, you have an image of my local area. This is, you know, just the lakes out and behind where I live. And then on top of that, we have a text effect for the uh, subscribe today. We have a, a YouTube logo. And then on top here, we have the PT photo and gear reviews. So as you like, this is not difficult stuff, right? And the way I look at it is I can do it. Anybody can do it. So um the image is straightforward that was a drone shot um, i color graded it uh, a very slight amount and then the text effect subscribe today straightforward um, the animation let's take a look at that it's a spring effect that's on it uh, the youtube logo if we scrub through this i think it's yeah so the transparency starts off at the beginning of the animation and it it ramps up towards the end there it comes in full and then pt photo and gear reviews just comes up and drops down a little bit and that's you know that's all there is to the first section so if i play it through so you won't be able to hear the audio i don't have the system uh, sound on but the main thing you need here is the how to and so pretty straightforward now the first trick is that all of the uh, transitions and animations that I've used. I've taken them from Camtasia 2022, except for a smoke effect that it's at the very end. And if you buy the template, I'll give you that. It comes with it. I'll give you the whole zip file. You have all these files. And I'm going to show you a really cool little trick. In fact, I'll show it to you now for swapping out images. Because like me, you might be having one of those days. Oh my God, I don't have time to create a fancy video opener. I wish I could just buy one or find one or whatever. Say that you like this one and you just want to take it and swap out your images. So normally you would think, okay, well, I have to click on this image here and I, you know, go get another one. I'll show an easy way to do it. Just right click on the image and go to update media. And then you can grab any one of these images that you want, click on it, and it'll drop it in its place. Easy peasy. So that would be the benefit of purchasing the template or the benefit when you purchase templates that are Camtasia related. Okay, so now if we move right along here, blow this up a little bit for you. If I hover over, so I, I think I probably exhausted every transition in the 2022 uh, library. So this is from the Flare 2 pack. And if you click on it, so I'll see if I can find it for you just so you can see fades. Uh, there, so there's flare, there's flare too. And if you scrub through it, it gives you kind of that starburst effect. Pretty straightforward. And then I played around with the duration a little bit for the transitions. And when you're joining clips in Camtasia, don't, the old way to do it is to have a lower one and an upper one. And really you can just butt the two of them together and then drag your transition onto the two clips and then play. So if you, here I'll show you, if you click on this transition, you can drag it and play with, uh, that's not a good example, but you can play with the duration of it just by uh, dragging it, you know, really straightforward. So now we come over to the first one here, which is the Brittany and Ryan engagement shoot I did. Um, and this was, it's basically the way to explain this one is I just took the image into Photoshop. I split it exactly in half. So I have, um, I have one half here, another one here, another one here, another one here. So there's a duplicate of the two halves. So what you've got is the right side's going down as the left side is going up. And the second set, it's just the opposite. So I just reversed it. And then the only other thing that I did was 
once the images come together, so you have this first transition, I added a second transition, which if you watch it, you'll see they, they both zoom up at the same time. So it's pretty slick the way. So I, I basically just looked at, you know, After Effects, how they were doing it. And I just found that I was able to easily duplicate what they were doing in this program. Um, and make no mistake, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve is a far better tool than Camtasia for doing motion graphics. But the whole point of this video is to show you that, you know, you can do this kind of stuff in Camtasia and it's not that difficult. So then the text effect, Pretty straightforward. I just put a transition on it. Actually, uh, that's another key thing I should show you is that there is uh, an animation on it for the text effect, but the real trick is right here. So the fly-in behavior is what I've used. And over here, so you have transitions, annotations, animations. So the fly-in is this one right here. And I think I exhausted just about all of the uh, behaviors um, in this version of Camtasia, uh, Camtasia as well, uh, putting this opener together. Okay, so let's keep going here. If you scrub through this, so I'll play it back again. Transition, splits in the image moving up and down. And then we come to the next segment. So this is a new transition in the uh, 2022 version of Camtasia, the glitch, which goes into so this is a low boy video that I did some time ago. It's a type of camera stand. Um, you know, if you're into photography, you know what I'm talking about. It's a studio stand that I've adapted for kind of a makeshift tripod, but still use it today. And so this is the first video clip that I used. And it's just a short clip, not too long in duration. And then the text effect on top of that. And this is the pop-up uh, behavior. So straightforward stuff here, which trans in, uh, transitions into, this is the burn through fade transition going into. So this one, I'll show you how I did this. So this is kind of like the engagement shoot one. Well, the only difference here, and I'll just jump into Photoshop and show you this, is that I took the image, split it in half. I added my uh, logo colors to it so and alternated them top to bottom on each side and then just play this back and the transition on this side is the burn through fade going through and straightforward stuff and then moving right along here so this is one of the, the my most favorite uh, headshots that I've ever taken um, but again, this is just an image shot with a 135 millimeter lens. And if you've never used the Samyang Rokinon 135 millimeter f1.8 lens, or you're thinking about the Sony G Master, I can tell you with absolute confidence for the price of the Rokinon Samyang, which is one third the price of the G Master, you will not regret buying that lens. And I'm someone that owns the Sony 50 mil f 1.2. And as sharp as that lens is, I love that lens, but this one, just something about the way that it renders images. Oh my God, if you're a headshot guy or you like doing portraits, <laughs> check that lens out for sure. I digress. Okay, so there's our transition animation. It's just a simple zoom up here and the easing effect I used was set to auto and then same on the text effect. So it's a bit of a zoom up here. There's another transition which goes into, so this is a video I did for the Glow Beauty dish and this one's pretty straightforward. So this is tips and tricks, you know, transition to text effect behavior, which goes into family shoots. And so this one, the animation was a little more complex, so I actually put two animations on the image, so you can see that it's going in and out a little bit. It looks like it's breathing, um, which comes into the next transition was the zoom fade, and that goes into this Joker image. And the Joker image, I put a compound uh, animation on it. So there's the first one, it zooms in, then it rotates, and that leads into uh, swirl spin transition going into the next uh, segment and that's pretty cool thank you very much TechSmith and so here this is just an image of a little pot liquor I shot not too long ago pot liquor is a southern expression for small kids 
okay um, and that's just a bit of a you know zoom effect on this one the word creative the behavior that's on that one is the sliding behavior which goes into another transition that looks like a glitch nope that's a swirl spin okay oh maybe I have a different trans oh that's the noise transition okay and that comes into so this is actual clip from the Rokinon video I shot not too long ago it's on the channel you can check it out if you're interested in that lens uh, you got to take a look at it if you're into portraits and so this one's pretty straightforward only difference here is I color graded this and so the color grading uh, was a color tra uh, tint which is a video effect so there it is right there and if you color grade your video or an image or what have you you'll have this uh, color tint panel on the right hand side and so I changed the colors a little bit normally you'll get 50 50 with the numbers here I knocked this one down to about 42 and but super easy to do that moves into another transition that's the noise transition which goes into another short video clip for the Vanguard camera bag video I did that's on the channel as well and so really nothing special here just the clip playing with the transitions and then this transition that's the swap which comes into this shot the beauty fashion shot and then there's uh, let's see here let's slide this over for you so you can see so some simple animations you can see the image itself is just zooming in and out and that leads us into the next transition which is quarter split so you know everything I used was taken from Camtasia with the exception of the smoke effect that you'll see at the very end here and so this like I say this is not difficult stuff if I can do it anybody can do it so that's a headshot that I did not too long ago converted it to black and white a little bit of a zoom social media portraits there's two animations on that okay and the behavior is the sliding behavior straightforward stuff so here's an HDR image that uh, I did not too long ago of a local guy welding shop I walked by the guy's shop and I just had to do an HDR on this uh, his background so the actual dude was shot in front of a white sweep or a white screen and then I comped it into the HDR background but it's just an image you know it's just a static image that I put an animation on it to give it a bit of a zoom there and that leads into the flip transition here and then this is going into the last segment and I'll just play this for you and I'll scrub this back so basically that's the uh, radio glow I think that transition is let's see no that's flip but this one here is the portal and the portal transition I'm sure I can find it for you I think it's in radio there it is okay so yet another transition which is kind of funky looking but when you play it forward so this one's probably one of the more most complex it's it's layered right so there's your audio track then um, I put a mesh uh, screen on this but you can't really see it that much the smoke kind of uh, covers it up a little bit but there's the smoke clip and it's it's animated so that it just comes in um, let's have a look here we'll see what we did with this one enable the easing yeah it's set to auto but if I put this if I highlight the animation and come over here yeah so at the beginning of the smoke the opacity is set to zero and then as the animation plays through towards the end I've set it to 100% so it just gradually comes through and then this is my web icon master so it's you know Patek photography and gear reviews ptphotoandgear.com and at the end here this is the text PT photo and gear and that brings us over to the very end um, of the animation okay guys so there you have it a high-tech video opener done in a low-tech program well I don't know if I'd call Camtasia a low-tech program but uh, hopefully I've given you enough information a little bit of inspiration maybe you want to try this on your own uh, don't hesitate to connect in no such thing as a dumb question if you need help 
but um, I'll put some links uh, in the description for you. Um, if you're interested in the template, uh, just drop me a line, just email me and I can get the thing out to you. But uh, yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, have a good summer and I will see you in the next one. Take care now. Thank you.